EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Marchant here with your outlook for the weekend, May 30th and 31st, 2020. We are going to end the month of May this weekend on a mostly sunny note and dry note. Uh, we'll be a little bit warmer today, cooler on Sunday as the trough settles in. Uh, but this is all in the wake of yesterday's cold front, which brought some scattered showers and thunderstorms to the region. Not too many damage reports. I know we had a severe thunderstorm watch up. Uh, very few damage reports, thankfully. Uh, some of you were disappointed in that for some reason. Apparently, you're not homeowners. But uh, it is what it is. So that moved uh, moved out last night. We had some showers. Uh, thunderstorms transitioned to just showers once the lightning went away. And that was... Uh, uh, on either side of midnight last night, but we do have that, that front further south and east today. We're going to be coming mostly sunny today. Again, temperatures are going to be a little warmer today on either side of 80 degrees, depending on where you're at, north to south. And then uh, once we get into Sunday, we're going to be on either side of 70 degrees. We're going to have about 10 degrees of a drop in temperatures. Uh, but the, the big difference today that you're going to see is uh, even though it's going to be on either side of 80 degrees, you'll have the humidity a lot lower. Uh, than it has been over the last couple of days, and the low humidity is going to be with us for the next couple of days, especially as this trough settles in. Once we get into Sunday, you're going to start to see parts of that get into the region. Again, you're going to be about 10 degrees cooler air temperature, but it's still room temperature at 70. It's not cold, folks. So I, I, you know, I keep seeing these things on on Twitter, and, and, and people want to blow this up and sensationalize it, like, oh, no, here comes the cold. It's not cold. 70, when is 70 degrees cold? Is it colder than, that? Colder than average? Yeah, it is, but... Come on now. Uh, once we get into so again, again, I'm telling you this, you can't make this stuff up. Then once you get to uh, uh, Sunday, we're also mostly sunny. Again, 10 degrees cooler. Uh, Monday is going to be probably the, the the core of the cool shot coming, if that makes any sense. So the uh, coldest day of this three-day stretch where we're expecting temperatures to be slightly below average will be Monday. Some areas might not get out of the 60s for highs, upper 60s. Uh, but that is going to change uh, once we get... Uh, Past that point, once we get to on uh, Tuesday, we're expecting temperatures to go back into the lower 70s and uh, may have a few showers here in some spots, a spotty shower. We have an isolated shower here in the forecast here for Tuesday, later Tuesday. It doesn't look like much here, um, but uh, we kept in there just, uh, just the same. And then once we get to Wednesday, we have temperatures warming up a little bit, ridging starting to build back in the region. Now, this interesting system to the north here, this is going to be an association with a reinforcing cold front. The problem is uh, it's not going to be any, do anything to, to uh, lower temperatures behind it. So cold fronts start taking on different meanings once you get into this time of year, meaning you're not going to have temperatures that are just going to be dropping significantly for the most part, unless you have, you're usually not accompanied by a trough like we're going to have earlier this week. This one is not. This is just going to be when a cold front passes otherwise, uh, you just lower the humidity behind it, and that's it. And that looks like it's going to end up happening once we get to Thursday of next week. But this uh, system here uh, looks like it wants to move right across our region here. It might bring some scattered showers and thunderstorms later uh, Wednesday and uh, Wednesday evening before that pulls offshore. It doesn't look like a big system at the moment. We'll keep an eye on it, though. And then uh, once we get to Thursday and Friday of next week, we go partly cloudy mostly, and then uh, mostly sunny by Friday. Temperatures getting back to kind of like what they are going to be today. So we're right around 80 degrees or thereabouts. So once we get to the end of the week, we start to warm up a little bit. But I think once it's going to wait till you get past about the, you know, we get to the 8th, 9th, 10th, somewhere in that time frame, we start getting temperatures a lot hotter uh, than just the, uh, you know, lower 80s. I think we're going to be talking about uh, many temperatures that are going to be the upper 80s, maybe even challenging 90 degrees once we get into, uh, get past, uh, probably, probably past the 10th or so. I think is the best chance for that, like we had in yesterday. It's a long range of we update, but it does look like we have a nice weekend coming up, so I'll go out and, and enjoy it, and no matter what day you pick, uh, both days are look, looking pretty nice. Uh, again, it's about 10 degrees cooler tomorrow, but still room temperature near 70 degrees. I'm EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is our outlook for the weekend, May 30th and 31st, 2020. Have a great Saturday and Sunday.